Well, about one-sixth of the convention is secessionists. And the more they listen to this stuff, uh, and the more they hear all these irrelevances, as they see it, coming up, and the more they see this stalling, and the more they see this prompt procrastination, the angrier and angrier and angrier and more exasperated they get. Virginia has simply got to finally decide. Virginia finally has got to make a decision. These, these, these guys who want to debate a just union or not have got to realize that we're living in a different period. Uh, that secession has uh, started, uh, uh, and if we don't uh, do something and do something fast, we're going to just be swamped by history. Who ever heard of delaying and delaying and delaying when you're in the middle of a, a crisis like this? And out of their sheer exasperation, the secessionists, the few secessionists in the Virginia Convention force a debate on April 4th, uh, 1860. The convention's been sitting for almost, uh, for almost uh, two months at this point. Uh, and they demand a vote, and the vote on secession takes place on April 4th. This, mind you, only nine days before the Civil War starts uh, at Fort Sumter. And Virginia votes two to one not to secede, two to one not to secede uh, nine days before the Civil War starts.